Pistol Squat The pistol squat, also known as the single leg squat, is a powerful lower body exercise that requires balance, flexibility, and strength. Once you've built the capacity to perform pistol squats, here's how to perform them. Start by standing on one foot with both legs straight. Contract the quads and point the toes of the non-squatting leg for the entire set. This will help you keep the non-squatting leg straight as long as you have the core compression strength and hamstring flexibility. If you have tight hamstrings and weak core compression strength, you're going to find it hard to keep the non-squatting leg straight and off the floor. If so, you must work on your core compression strength and forward fold flexibility. If you watch closely, you will notice that I initiate the pistol squat by pulling the upper leg bone of the non-squatting leg into the back of the hip capsule. This helps us to contract the deep hip flexor muscles so we can lift the non-working leg up as we squat down. From here, bend the knee of the squatting leg as much as possible without the heel of the foot lifting off the floor. Then flex the hips to continue the eccentric motion. Aim to balance the weight between the heel and the ball of the foot. If anything, you want to place more weight on the ball of the foot. This will allow you to maintain a more upright torso. This is where your ankle flexibility will be tested. To counterbalance the weight of the hips moving back and down, reach the arms forward and flex the hip of the non-squatting leg to keep the foot off the floor. The weight of the arms and leg moving forward keeps you balanced as long as you have the flexibility. As you squat down, make sure the knee of the squatting leg is tracking over the middle toes. Do not allow the knee to collapse inwards. Squat down until the hamstrings of the squatting leg cover the calf and you're sitting at the bottom of the pistol squat. Changing directions fast or bouncing out of the bottom position can affect balance and limit the strength gains. For this reason, I like to pause at the bottom of the rep for two to three seconds. Then, keeping the weight balanced under the foot, extend the hips and knees to stand up. Focus on contracting the quads and glutes and pushing the floor away as hard as you can. You can perform sets on one side and repeat on the opposite side, or you can perform alternating reps. It depends on your goal and the phase of the programming. Give it a try and see how you go. If you've got questions, please leave them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.